what you know, but it's about what we all ought to know. Quizzing expands one's knowledge and helps one to explore new skills. It has become a fun alternative tool for learning. Good afternoon. I, Talak Agarwal, president of GK Club, welcome one and all to the 31st Inter-School CULC Memorial Quiz Contest. As the COVID-19 pandemic has again started spreading its tentacles, we are once again holding this quiz on a virtual platform. We will begin by invoking the blessings of the Almighty on this auspicious, with the auspicious lamp lighting ceremony virtually. Let me just share my screen. I request our principal, Mr. Jadni Shekhar, to address the gathering. Good afternoon to everyone present here today. And uh, on behalf of DBMS Hindu School, we welcome you to the 31st Shivli Seal Memorial Inter-School Quiz Com Competition being held today. Uh, for the past 30 years, we've been holding this quiz in memory of Shivli, who was a student of our school. We're very happy that Shivli's mother, Mrs. Rekha Seal, has joined us on the quiz today. And for the past two years, we've gone online for conducting this quiz, seeing to it that the uh, conduction of this quiz goes on irrespective of the circumstances. We're very grateful to Oxford University Press for helping us in conducting this quiz. And of course, our renowned quiz master, Mr. Vinay, for being here once more with us to help all our children to enjoy this quiz. There have been 22 schools which have participated in the prelims and the, the top eight have come into the final round today. And on behalf of all of us, I wish you all happy quizzing. Thank you. I request Madhumita teacher, moderator of the GK club to say a few words about our quiz moderators of the day, Mr. Vinay Mudaliar and Mr. Chita. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I extend a very warm welcome to Mr. Vinay Mudaliar, Ms. Rachita and their team. Mindcox is a prominent quiz venture which believes in spreading knowledge in an engaging way. This was founded by Mr. Vinay Mudaliar. He is a quiz master of great repute in India and has conducted various national level quizzes. He is currently one of the most popular quiz masters in the education industry. Mr. Vinay is associated with the CBSC board and ICSC board in imparting knowledge through quizzes across the country. He has conducted the prestigious CBSC Heritage India quiz across many states in India. He has also conducted the ASISC national quizzes for the ICSC board. Mr. Vinay, along with his team at Mine Cox, conducted a mega quiz for all Indian schools in Oman, where close to 40,000 witness uh, students witnessed it. A grand finale with an audience of around 4,500 people with esteemed delegates from Oman was conducted in the biggest amphitheater of Muscat. He is also a television quiz show host and has conducted a 10 episode national level quiz with Asia Net News. He has conducted quizzes for leading media houses like the Times of India, Deccan Herald, to name a few across many states in India. His quizzes are hugely popular across the country for their content, innovative formats, and his knack for keeping the audience engaged. He has been given various awards 
and recognition for spreading knowledge among the children across the country. Sir, it is an honor for us to have you here with us to conduct today's quiz. We welcome you once again. Over to you, Tilak. Thank you, teacher. I now hand over the proceedings of proceedings of the quiz to our quiz masters, Mr. Vinay and Ms. Ajita. Thank you so much, uh, ma'am, and welcome to the 31st edition of the Suli Seal Memorial Quiz. It is undoubtedly one of the oldest quizzes, not only in the Jamshedpur area, but in India as well. And this quiz is done as a tribute to the child Suli Seal, who passed away in uh, DBMS school 31 years ago. So this quiz is a wonderful tribute to a person. So we'll just start off with a small 10-second uh, silence. In uh, memory of uh, Suli Seal. Okay, thank you so much. So, welcome once again to the 31st edition of this quiz. I've been doing this quiz for many years now, and it's a privilege to do this quiz because. It is undoubtedly one of the oldest quizzes in the country. This quiz is brought to you by the Oxford University Press and DBMS English School, along with us at Mindcogs, who curate and conduct the quiz. Out of 22 schools, top eight are qualified into the finals. I'll quickly tell who the finalists are as we go into the finals. A very exciting Sui Seal Memorial Quiz. Always good quizzers come to this quiz. And we have the top eight who are qualified into the finals this time. Different schools, you can say. It's good to see new schools joining us this time in the finals. So people are, you can say, preparing themselves for various quizzes. It's good to know in the Jamshedpur area. Jamshedpur always is a good quizzing city. So let's see who the top eight finalists are. Qualifying as finalist number one is Shaley from DBMS Kadma. Round of applause to her as she qualifies. The finalist number one in the D Suli Seal Memorial Quiz is Shelly from DBMS Kadma. Next, we have, you can just wave to the camera, Shelly, so that those who are watching us on YouTube can know where you are seated. Where are you, Shelly? Yes, sir, I'm here. There. Okay, wave to the camera. Yes, welcome to the finals. Good young children. Next one, we have Aditya Kumar from the Hilltop School. Welcome to the finals, Aditya. You can wave Thank to the you, camera. Sir. Okay, next we have Kriti from Sri Krishna Public School. Welcome to the finals, Kriti. There she is. Okay, next we have Shivam Raj from Vidya Bharati Chinmay Vidyalaya. Welcome to the finals, you, Shivam. You, there he is. Next we have Ahan Roy from Little Flower Public School. Welcome to the finals, Ahan. There he is. You, next we have Akansha from AIWC Academy. Welcome to the finals, Akansha. There is Akansha. There she is. Okay. Akansha, can you tell me what is AIWC for just my information? What is the full form? All Indian Women Conference. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Next, we have Shrest from Chinmay Vidyalaya South Park. Welcome to the final, Shrest. Thank you, Where sir. You? There he is. Okay. And then we have Shubhamita Das from Gulmohar High School. Will be the final finalist in Thank the you, top sir. eight finals or top eight finalists. And welcome to the final. So those are the top eight really good schools. Some new schools joining us. So this is the 31st edition. So various schools from Jamshedpur are always won this quiz. It's a very highly prestigious quiz. Winners will be featured in media and various media coverages. So it's a huge prestige to win this quiz. It's not about just the prize. It's about the honor as well. So we have the top eight finalists. The quiz is brought to you by Oxford University Press. We go quickly to the finals. We have four rounds in this quiz. Before I tell you that, we have strict rules which we have in our digital quizzing, which are all, we have already mentioned to the finalists, but we'll tell it once again. Camera and mic to be turned on at all times once the quiz starts. Strictly no family member, friend, teacher, or any person should be seated in the room. If any form of malpractice, Googling, external help, the finalist will be disqualified from the finals. We can easily know this. My team is watching. We have two, three, one laptop, two mobiles. We watch it very carefully. No chatting in the chat box. Strict life with decorum. Both the hands should be visible to the camera on the mobile buzzer, which I told you. First turn, we don't require the buzzer. So that time you can sit in the folded hand position this way, whatever it is, as long as your hands are visible to the camera. 
internet issues will try and resolve if you keep having internet issues then i have to continue with the quiz a uh, finalist can be disqualified if we notice any malpractice in recordings and finally the quiz master's decision is final so those are the strict rules i'll always abide by these rules please play in the fairness and ethic way of quizzing i highly please tell you that i will see if any form of malpractice i will disqualify you so those are the strict rules eight finalist four round let's start off the first round some audience members are there for you instructions please switch off your webcam and mic so it's only for the quiz master in the top eight others those who are watching us on youtube you can always watch comment answers and other things okay let's start off the first round it's called join the meeting so over the two years rounds are based on digital learning so we continue to do digital form of quizzing but it's good that the dbms english school is continuing the tradition that is most important many schools have stopped saying okay let's wait for the pandemic to finish but schools like this are continuing the tradition to have quizzes in spite of us having it virtual let's see what the rules are eight questions in total each participant will get one direct question scoring 10 points for a correct answer no passing and no negative okay so simple round it's a good warm up round you can say i do it in all digital form of quizzing because so that you get a knack of what's happening in the quiz and then we go to the three rounds which are on the buzzer okay so first round we'll go in the order in which i call the finalists so first question will be for shelly shelly you need to unmute yourself others can mute yourself it's only meant for shelly and hands visible to the camera shelly okay perfect first question for you i'll give 10 seconds of time for answering each question coming up now this term first appeared in ancient greek political and philosophical thought in the city state of athens during the classical antiquity the word comes from the greek words for common people and strength which term gets its origin from this very important term 10 seconds of time what is this term common people strength that is a huge clue 5 seconds remaining think logically no negative marking sir democracy outstanding answer democracy is the correct answer very good 10 points to you there it is democracy she gets 10 points there uh shelly can you quickly just show your camera around the room uh we just make sure everybody is seated alone and highly all of you please keep your eyes on the camera itself otherwise we'll assume that somebody is in the room okay no problem thank you yeah thank you thank you. i'll just do that randomly for people during the quiz okay next question is for aditya kumar from hill top unmute yourself aditya next question yes. for you coming up now this word used in the second century ad in ancient rome when the word was prescribed by a physician to be worn on an amulet to help his emperor emperor recover from diseases the origins of the word in is aramic and roughly translates as i will create as i speak what is this term which is used in a certain in a fun way in a magical way in a illusion way what is this word It gives so many clues i said it's used in a magical way in an illusion way what is this word i will create as i speak both the hands visible to camera please aditya i can 5 seconds of time remaining five for think logically i said magical illusion 3 2 1 any guess there aditya no negative marking No, no guess at all okay anybody else knows the answer for no points sir i yes tell okay. me sir abracadabra abracadabra is the correct answer which we tell in magic and illusion so abracadabra is i will create as i speak okay good answer there by ahan but no points for you okay next question i so kriti kriti unmute yourself yes sir there she is hands visible to camera very good question coming up now Lord Rama marked a spot for the bridge with one end of his bow. It means end of the bow. Which place in India or southern India is this? End of the bridge. That's a huge clue. So this was the start of his journey there. What is this place name? Ten seconds of time. 
we all have heard it in ramayana five seconds remaining for kriti end of the bow mark the spot on the bridge huge clues 3 2 1 any guess there kriti yes no, no negative sir. marking sorry no sir no guess at all okay anybody else knows the answer just for guessing so and starting up your brain yeah tell me sir rameshwaram good guess good guess maybe i would have given you five points if you were at all rameshwaram but the answer is dhanush kodi dhanush kodi is the answer which is the tip you can say of rameshwaram which goes to sri lanka from there so this is dhanush kodi no points there no problem first round is a warm up round next we have shivam unmute yourself shivam oh he already yes, got sir. the answer okay your question and hands visible to camera you can see yes, okay coming up now which historic structure in india designed in the 1887 bearing resembles to the st pancras station in london was declared a unesco world heritage site in 2004 hands visible to camera both hands up yes sir. yeah perfect just five seconds remaining st pancras station is a huge clue five four Sir, ajanta caves no not ajanta caves st pancras station is a clue anybody else knows no okay the answer i was looking for is the chatrapati shivaji station the chatrapati shivaji station or the victoria terminus so st pancras station is a train station there so that was a clue in the question no problem next question is for ahan ahan unmute yourself yes your sir. direct question coming up now It was founded in 1861 by Alexander Cunningham. Hands up, hands up, hands visible to camera. Okay, perfect. Alexander Cunningham and its logo resembles the Sanchi Stupa. Which organization is this? Alexander Cunningham logo is a huge clue. It's a famous or important organization in India, and it resembles the Sanchi Stupa. Their logo. Five seconds of time remaining. no sir tricky ones no anybody else knows no okay when i tell you the answer you will kick yourself the answer i was looking for is the archaeological survey of india the archaeological survey of india if you go look at the logo has the sanchi stupa in it okay tricky ones for the students they are coming back into quizzing after some time there okay next we have akansha from aiwc where is akansha there she is unmute yourself akansha Okay, hands visible to camera. Both the hands. You can see. You can see. Okay, coming up now. The word was borrowed in English from French meaning bench or counter. Benches were used as makeshift desks or an exchange counter. Which word is this? Think logically. Benches were used as exchange counters. so something from the field of finance comes from this what is this word which comes from the french for counter or bench 5 seconds time remaining i said finance is a clue 5 4 3 any guess sakansha no sir no okay anybody else knows the answer Tricky ones today in the thirty-first edition. So we keep increasing the level as we go along. No, the answer I was looking for is bank. Bank comes from exchanging counters in the medieval time. So bank comes from the French for counter or bench. Okay, really tricky ones, but good questions. They all can learn something new. That is the main aspect of quizzing. It's not just about answering. Next, we have Shreyas from Chinmaya Vidyale. Let's hope he answers. Raised, unmute yourself. There he is. Can you lower your camera down a little bit? Raised, little bit so that I can see your hands. Hands visible to camera. It's visible. You can just pull your hand this way. Can you see? Okay. Coming up now. Long question, but easy answer. On twenty eighth April eighteen nineteen, a British officer from the Madras Presidency, that is John Smith. of the 20th cavalry while hunting tiger accidentally discovered the entrance to this within the tangled undergrowth 
the archaeological survey of india which i asked you now describes this place as the finest surviving examples of indian art particularly painting and buddhist religious art which is this place i am talking about very famous shreesh hands visible to camera yeah thank you 5 seconds of time very famous ahan is looking very uh, sad that he didn't get this question yes shreesh 5 seconds of time very famous john smith accidentally discovered this entrance of this place 5 4 3 2 one any guess shreesh no sir no yes ahan he looks excited so angkor wat no not the angkor wat i said india archaeological survey of india describes it okay so is it ajanta caves it is the ajanta caves very good who answered that renu teacher oh teacher okay renu teacher who is always instrumental in having this quiz helps us a lot very good answer ma'am it is the ajanta caves very good next one to shubhamita final question of this round after this we go on the buzzers that's where i think all of you will kick start your scoreboard okay uh, who is it for shubhamita she is there okay your question coming up now It is an experimental township that was started by Mira Alfas in 1968 and designed by architect Roger Anger. Alfas has said that she wanted it to be a universal town where men and women of all countries are able to live in peace and harmony. What is this place which is situated very close to Tamil Nadu? Very famous place. many people go there for meditation seeking harmony live in peace what is this place Exper- experimental township you would have seen the photos of this place a lot if not you would have visited it this you would have not visited it yes 5 seconds of time 5 sorry sir bangalore bangalore not bangalore bangalore is not at all an experimental township no one lives in peace here okay lot of traffic and problems in the city the answer anybody else knows yes chennai no uti teachers not uti which one is it oroville who said oroville hey pritham pritham it is a correct answer oroville is the correct answer in pondicherry so you will see the dome structure there so this is the oroville there okay tricky one for the children today don't worry from now on it will be more visual questions so that's where i think all of you will start picking up your points so we'll quickly go to the next round which is from now on on the buzzer it's called camera switched on all eight are there one is missing akansha is back okay akansha you are missing on the buzzer can you come back on the buzzer others are all there akansha Yes, sir. Your buzzer is you are disconnected from the buzzer. Sir, I am there. Okay, now you come back. Okay, very good. Okay, all eight are there. So remember, you need to hold the mobile this way. All of you, Shivam, can you raise it a little bit? Okay, can you just move the questions? Let me see them more. All eight are there. One, two, three. Again, Akansha is missing. Akansha, your camera. Can you switch on? Okay, there she is. Okay, I can see now. No problem. All eight are there. One, two, three, four. Okay. So please keep the mobile phones this way. Be careful when you press the buzzer. Only when you're sure, you need to press the buzzer. Okay. Let me tell you what the rules are of this round. Let's go to the rules. So five questions in total. Buzzer round plus fifteen if you get it right. But if you get it wrong, minus. Then, so be very careful. Don't press the buzzer and tell me that, sir. I pressed it by mistake. If you press the buzzer, you need to answer the question. Okay. So you have to know the answer when you click the buzzer. Uh, who is that? Shelly, can you raise your mobile phone? It'll up the buzzer or lower your camera. Yes, there it is. And turn it a little bit. Turn it. Turn it. Turn. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Little bit. As in, little be comfortable for you. You can like how Shubha Mita is holding. That is perfect. Okay. first question these are all visual based questions so be careful only 10 seconds of time per question question number 1 on the buzzers coming up now identify a literature work from this photo or identify this character from this photo 
famous literature work who's going on the buzzer 10 seconds of time very famous book character oh shivam raj has gone for it yes shivam unmute yourself sir mogli mogli from sir uh, the sir like bagira mogli sir that your answer is mogli that is the correct answer very good 15 points <laughs> to shivam it. there mogli is a good answer very good 15 points to him next one audience don't uh, speak somebody spoke in the audience right audience please don't speak okay i, I think all eight uh, students can you all switch on the uh, mic also all eight uh, finalists so that we know only the eight finalists are speaking and audience members please switch off your mic i heard somebody speaking that's why okay all mics are on good question number 2 visual question coming up now identify this famous monastery famous monastery in the north eastern part of india ahan roy has gone for a guess ahan is this the tawang monastery monastery very good answer 15 points to ahan one of the biggest you can say in asia ahan you can mute, unmute yourself don't uh, no need to click uh, mute you are right now mute yeah okay very good 15 points to him tawang monastery like i said the visual questions is where the students are very good at question number 3 coming up now this is the logo of a famous tea brand tea brand t e a t chai tea brand this is the logo you will see this two lions there and this man what is this tea brand 5 seconds of time remaining anybody going on the buzzer No, five, four, three, two, one. No one going on the buzzer. Anybody knows? Okay, audience can tell. Wag bakri chai. Wag bakri chai is the correct answer. Who told that? <laughs> the president of the GK club. The president of the GK club. Uh, that is uh, the Tilak, right? Tilak. Tilak. Very good answer. Good Tilak. It is Wag bakri chai, one of the oldest tea companies or tea brands in the world, actually. Yeah. Good one. Next one. now you can all mute uh, not your uh, audience member mute yourself i heard somebody speaking okay question number 4 on the buzzer coming up now identify this temple or this place the trees are important there 5 4 3 2 one no one going on the buzzer the answer is looking for is the bodh gaya temple or uh, the bodh gaya temple where gautam buddha or uh, lord buddha attained nirvana so this is the bodh gaya temple that is a tree there the people tree which you can see on the left so that was the clue okay next one final question of this round on the visuals coming up now this is the logo of a very important thing in india what is this the logo of so important so important it was introduced during the you can say congress government time still is very important what is this way back in 2004 time it was introduced still continues to be very important 5 seconds of time 5 4 3 2 1 and one closing it anybody knows from the audience rti right to information right to information that is a correct answer rti so you can see an i there so this is the right to information Okay, good. The audience members are answering well. Slightly tricky ones for the finalist on stage. No problem. Take a deep breath. We have a one uh, video which we want to show from the Oxford University Press, who's always associated with this quiz. Let's see that, and then we'll come back to the scores. Oxford Star is an assessment solution intended to help students, teachers, parents, and the school administrators profile student personality, scholastic ability. and 21st century competencies and skills in a graded manner oxford star empowers teachers and school administrators to tune the teaching learning processes with the help of a deep and flexible reporting system oxford star has the following subjects on offer english mathematics science personal and social competence it is meant for students of class 5 to 8 The test can be taken either online or through pen and paper mode. Let us see why and how Oxford Star is different. Oxford Star is based on the Oxford Star Competency Framework. 
holistic in nature and can be applied to all levels of education and varied subjects encompasses the domains of learning and development mapped to the revised adaptation of cognitive taxonomy redefined by Anderson and Crathwall in 2000 and 2001 aligned to NCF 21st century skills and behavioral competencies defines a set of core interconnected competencies in a structured form each competency is further described by a set of skills and sub skills that indicate the natural thinking progression of individuals includes over 50 competencies and skills extensively researched and validated this framework is constructed by a galaxy of stars doctorates educationists experienced practitioners and reviewed and validated by expert committee set up by the SNDT Women's University items are tagged to the competencies and sub competencies defined in the framework and topics learning outcomes difficulty levels and learning levels rigorously benchmarked the items are calibrated through item response theory rich analytical and visual reports for students parents teachers and principals after completion of the test students will receive a comprehensive report which will give them a detailed break up of how they have performed in the test the report will not only mention the overall scores by subjects competencies and difficulty level but will also individually mention the subject scores competency scores and level based scores the detailed visual report will help to understand what where and which areas the child needs improvement the report will provide detailed outline of subjects competencies including behavioral difficulty levels and learning orientation the report will be available in both print and web formats with national benchmarks interclass and intraclass comparisons oxford star also comes with an online reporting tool it can be used to generate reports of the test this will help in monitoring the student's progress and provide support to teachers reports will showcase three views of performance subject based competency based and difficulty level based personality profiling will showcase the learning orientation of each student along with mapping to behavioral competencies reports will also include competency based <coughs> remedial measures for effective learning star index is a weighted average of subjects competencies and difficulty level scores a badge in any of the subject depicts that a child has scored more than the national average in these areas help your child to become a star for further details contact us okay so that was a new initiative called oxford star there from the oxford university press so you can contact them for more details so we'll tell you the scores now after two rounds of quizzing okay so we have shivam and ahan both at 15 points and shelly at 10 points others are yet to score don't worry we are just in the middle part of the quiz we have two more very high scoring rounds let's quickly go on to the next round it's called recap the year that is 2021 current affairs you can say this is so let's see what the rules are five questions in total same points 15 points for a correct answer minus 10 for a wrong answer it's a buzzer round no passing so all of you please hold the mobile buzzers up okay all are there on the buzzers perfect just all of you press the green button once we'll just quickly test because for some time we were idle okay perfect all are working well okay all are 2021 maybe 2020 also but 2021 mostly so think around that and tell me the answer okay first question on recap the year 2021 coming up now which trophy is this from the field of cricket 2021 shivam raj has gone for it yes shivam sir the border gavaskar border gavaskar trophy is a minus 10 is a minus 10 there anybody else knows from the audience sir can i, sir, can I? okay tell me aditya Uh, sir icc world test uh, championship yes that is the correct answer the icc world test championship where india lost and new zealand won so this is the icc test world championship be careful be careful students next question question number 
on the buzzer can you raise the buzzer shivam mobile up mobile up yeah thank you question number 2 coming up now this is the logo of which company so important in india right now so important in india right now which company which is based out of hyderabad which is so important right now starting both the words are starting with the letter b b b aditya kumar has gone for it yes aditya kumar sir is it bharat biotech it is bharat biotech yes the first the people who are behind the covaxin very good answer bharat biotech is a correct answer 10 points to aditya kumar he gets not 10 sorry 15 points to him very good previous also was 15 who is not today very shelly shelly can you turn the mobile little bit yeah that's it very good okay and unmute unmute please shiva mo sa unmute yeah yes. very good question number 3 very good answer there bharat biotech question number 3 coming up now this is the autobiography of which person the race of my life ahan roy has gone for it yes ahan sir is this the autobiography of uh, milka singh it is milka singh very good 15 points it is milka singh unfortunately who passed away very good answer milka singh 15 points to you question number 4 good all of you are good on current affairs coming up now his original name was mohammad yusuf khan and passed away on 7th july 2021 who is this aditya kumar has gone for it uh, sir is it dilip kumar It is Dilip Kumar. Very good. Fifteen points to Aditya. Good answer there. Very good. Aditya from Hilltop School is coming back into the quiz. Next and final question of the recap of the year round is coming up now. This is the logo of another company which is important in the field of vaccination in India, and it is the highest producer of vaccine in the world. Which company is this? Which company is this? Subhamita has gone for it. Yes, Subhamita. Sir, is it the Covishield? I want a company's name. It's the highest producer of vaccines in the world. So I'm not just talking about Covishield. Yes, they do produce the Covishield. But what is, is the name of the company? University. Which one? The Oxford. Not Oxford University. You can see the logo of Oxford University right there. Minus ten for Subhamita. Anybody in the audience? No one. Who is in charge? No. Is this is the. Name? This is these are the people who make the COVID shield and. Yes, sir, Serum Institute is, of India. Serum Institute of India is the correct answer. Serum Institute of India. Adar Puna Wala, who is the man behind producing the most number of vaccines in the world. and covid shield is their main vaccine which they are produced with oxford university and astrazeneca very good answering there minus 10 and fourth for shubhamita scores are ready after three rounds aditya kumar from hill top at 30 points ahan roy from little flower at 30 points shelly from bbms kadma at 10 points shivam raj at 5 points from vidya bharti and minus 10 unfortunately for shubhamita from gulmohar high school others kriti and akansha and shresh i have not yet scored don't worry final round is very high scoring yesterday is the number ninja round was won in the final round so anyone can still win this quiz let's go to the final round it's called leave the meeting it's the famous round in my quizzes which is the pyramid round let's show what it is so we have six questions on the buzzer which is bifurcated into green triangle yellow triangle and the red triangle green triangle questions are plus 10 if you get it right but minus 5 if you get it wrong so there are three questions in the green triangle next we have the yellow triangle which is 15 points if you get it right and minus 10 if you get it wrong two questions on the yellow triangle and finally the red triangle question is 20 points if you get it right and minus 10 if you get it wrong so three questions in the green triangle 30 points two questions in the yellow triangle 30 plus 30 60 60 plus 20 80 points in this one single pyramid will give you some bonuses as well suppose akansha you get all right in the green triangle i'm just giving an example you get a bonus of 10 points suppose ahan you get all right in the yellow triangle you get a bonus of 10 points so 100 points in this one single round there's no bonus in the final question because that's a single question 100 points anyone can still win this quiz 
you can still do a virat kohli or a hardik pandya or a chris gale who are you like okay final round the level of difficulty will rise so green will be slightly easier yellow slightly tougher and the red will be the trickiest question of today all set mobile sub mobile buzzer up okay plus 10 minus 5 question number 1 coming up now identify this instrument there is only one string in this instrument shubhamita has gone for it yes shubhamita ek tara is a correct answer very good 10 points single string instrument is ek tara good answer shubhamita is coming back now next question plus 10 minus 5 coming up now he is known as the father of modern surgery what is his what is name after him mahan has gone for it sir joseph lister very good lister and listerine is answer very good 10 points you can just tell me lister was more than enough very good 10 points to ahan he takes a lead now he's at 40 next question plus 10 minus 5 coming up now the sage in ancient india thought to be the author of number of sanskrit books the greatest of these are the yoga sutras a classical yoga text what is the name of the sage which a famous company is also named after now it has become a company ahan roy has gone for it it's patanjali outstanding ahan very good he got the clue where i said company now longer it is a, just a yoga institute now it's also a company which is patanjali very good 10 points to ahan so two ahan got right one shubhamita so no bonuses on this green triangle we'll go to the yellow triangles now aditya kumar has to pick up now so because ahan is at 50 aditya 30 and shubhamita is at zero because he negated and 10 points is uh, shaili yes 15 pointers be careful children 15 minus 10 coming up uh, wait shubhamita please unmute yourself yeah and shivam also coming up now who are these three people next to obama who are these three people next to obama they all have done something huge and historic many many years back now they are old when they were young they did something huge Five seconds of time. You will know all the three names always. Ahan Roy is taking a huge chance. So yes, Ahan. Are these uh, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and uh, uh, Edwin Aldrin, uh, Buzz Aldrin? And who are these three actually? Uh, these were the first three men to land uh, land on the moon. Michael Collins Neil didn't Neil land. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and we always forget the third person, Michael Collins. outstanding answer rahan superb answer there rahan these are the three people who went to space very good neil armstrong buzz aldrin and michael, michael collins. collins 15 points to him he's taken a huge lead there don't worry aditya you can still do there is more 35 points at stake in this quiz ha ah, what a final what a final next question 15 minus 10 all buzzers are up yes okay sideways okay coming up now what is being stored in this helium filled cases what is there in this helium filled case 5 seconds of time it is present in the library of the parliament of india shelly has gone for it yes shelly constitution constitution what about the constitution as in why is it preserved there what Okay, I will give it to you. Fifteen points. Constitution, the first ever drafted constitution of India. This is the very good answer, Shelly. Fifteen points to you. Oh, what a finals now! Let us see what the scores are before the final question, which is a twenty-pointer question. I think Ahan is very happy that Shelly took that positive fifteen and not Aditya. Let's see what the scores are. Twenty-five for Shelly. Thirty points for Aditya. Sixty-five points for Ahan. I think he's in a huge lead there. and 5 points for shivam and the rest are at zero final question will determine i think who will come second in this quiz second and third because ahan is in a huge lead at 60 points final question 20 pointer question be careful coming up now connect these two visuals 
connect these two visuals to a very happy place is a huge clue i'm giving you aditya kumar has gone for it yes aditya sir is it uh, disneyland walt disney so the person on the left is walt disney and that is disneyland very good answer there aditya 20 points to you happy place is a huge clue i gave him and this is walt disney and disneyland so that is the first ever draft of the disneyland which walt disney is doing among his friends and that is the first ever disneyland there very good answer there aditya kumar i think he did really well he should have taken some few more buzzer questions in the previous rounds what a finals as always suli seal quiz is always an entertaining and engaging quiz goes down to the wire coming in third is shelly from dbms kadma school with 25 points very well done there shelly good job there with 25 points coming in second is aditya kumar from hill top school with 50 points there well done aditya you should have taken i think round 4 you should have taken one buzzer question i think then you would have given a good chance there and winning this quiz again doing really well in the final round he got one in the round 2 round 3 so he was consistent throughout the quiz except the first round with 65 points is ahan roy from little flower school will win the 31st edition of the suli seal memorial quiz brought to you by dbms english school really well done hard luck for the others sorry uh, hard luck for the others that is kriti from shri krishna public school then we have shivam raj from vidya bharti chinmay vidyalaya then akansha from aiwc shreesh from chinmay vidyalaya south park and shubhamita from gulmohar high school really well done coming into the finals is a huge achievement in this quiz it is be very proud because it's a very very old and reputed quiz and being in the top 8 itself is a huge achievement so thank you all you all did superbly well i love to do this quiz every year unfortunately from the past two years we are doing it online but we always love to visit jamshedpur hopefully next year we don't know hopefully next year we have things back to normal and we have this quiz but really well done thank you so much to the dbms english school to doing this quiz in spite of the pandemic and oxford university press to providing their support in this quiz and associating so importantly in such initiatives like the number ninjas and the dbms suli seal memorial quiz thank you all so much from my partner rachita and me and the entire team of mind cox my name is vinay modiliar we'll be back or rather we'll go into the presentation ceremony after this thank you so much spotlight me nice now that was wonderful i myself have participated in the suli seal quiz three times and it was never this crazy i'm sure all of you must have expanded your knowledges and have enjoyed it immensely congratulations to all the winners i request mrs rekha seal to say a few words thank you ma'am hi everybody everyone and let me first congratulate the winners and let me congratulate the participants also because coming up out of 20 30 schools coming up at eight in among the eight it's a big achievement and as i and i must thank uh, dbms school and uh, the principal ms rajni shekhar and renu and all the team they diligently organize this quiz you know and it's this quiz is a very close to my heart and uh, every year i see that uh, you know the bar is being raised and for that i must thank vinay and her on his team to keep quizzing you know because that raises the bar of the knowledge of the children and particularly the children of these days they are much more aware about the systems around so i must i am very happy to attend this quiz you know 
even it is uh, online and for people like old people like us it's uh, you know very difficult to attend the online things but still i enjoyed it at very much and uh, you know every time they say that when there is something down next thing is up so let us not be very uh, disappointed by this corona and covid things for last two years i hope next year we will be doing it face to face and uh, we will uh, invite uh, vinay again in jamshedpur and uh, i wish all the other participants all the other children all the best for the new year and hope this year by year end we will be free of corona and next year will be a happy year for us thank you all i request shlok the treasurer of gk club to give a word of thanks a very good afternoon to everyone present here i would first like to thank mrs rekha seel for initiating this quiz in siuli's name and accepting our invitation to grace this occasion a special thanks to our quiz masters mr vinay ms rachita and their team mr pritam mandal and the other members of the oxford university press for conducting such an interesting and informative quiz i extend my heartfelt gratitude to our management members principal vice principal and teachers for their expert and able guidance i am grateful to all the principals teachers and students representing the various prestigious institutions for taking part in this quiz i express my gratitude to our office staff mr hemant and mr shibu who have contributed their share to the success of today's program thank you all and have a good day ahead tilak i hand over to you i would like to request our principal ma'am to speak a few words ma'am if you will uh once again a wonderful afternoon i would say beginning of an afternoon of quizzing i loved every minute of it which i witnessed today and as always when i kudos to you you've been doing this job so well for us over the past couple of years and we do miss having you and rachita back here in jamshedpur as mrs rekha seel said let's hope that things become better and the situation improves and next year we can have all our children live back at school along with you and rachita once more thank you all the participants you were excellent and just like yesterday at the numbers ninja we saw a lot of upsets happening and the, the what was closely tied between hilltop school and little fla uh, i think ahan just took it away congratulations to all of you you all participated extremely well thank you to oxford university press also for helping us to conduct this quiz i would like mr mondel from oxford university press to say a few words sorry if you will thank you so much uh, i'd like to thank vinay i'd like to thank uh, rajni ma'am and renu ma'am 